What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. And in this clip, we have a young lady that says that her settlements is $700. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right, so tell me. Because I could be dead wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. But I could be. But I don't think I am. So, boom. So, a couple weeks ago, my dispatcher wanted me to go one place after I was supposed to be going to another place. And she was like, you don't have to do it. I said, I don't want to do it. And then she ends up calling me back and stating this statement. My supervisor said that you're a company driver and it's not your equipment. And basically, you go where we tell you to go. Okay, boom. Cool. On to the next. So now, I've been basically waiting since Friday to get my AC repaired. And come today, they can't help me, so now I have to take it, take the truck to the terminal to get the AC repaired. Okay, so the truck stop that I'm at is $25 a day to pay. Mind you, I'm only at this truck stop because this is where I had to switch trailers with another driver. So it's $25 a day to pay, so I've been here since Friday, that's $75. So I called my dispatch and I said, I need $75 to get off of this lot. She says, usually drivers pay um, for parking. What? I tell her, yeah, I've paid for parking before, but I've only paid no more than $20 because I'm never anywhere for more than one day. And that's usually because I'm getting there late. Uh, uh, uh. But in this situation, I'm here because this is where I had to switch loads with another driver. And this is where I was supposed to get my AC fixed. But that's just not how the cookie ended up crumbling. I need $75 because I'm not paying it out of my pocket. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. My, my check was $700 last week. What? My check was $700 last week. What the fuck? And God only knows how much it's going to be this week because I'm only going to have one load on this next paycheck and breakdown pay. That's nothing. I'm not paying $75. So y'all going to have to come up with it. Last week it was your equipment. Today it's my problem. Y'all not making it make sense. Make it make sense. Now this is the first of many. Guys, leave your comments in the comments below. Have you ever had a low settlement like that? Have you ever been in her situation? If so, let us know in the comments below. Let's get this let's let's get this uh conversation started. She said that yo, she was hemmed up at a uh truck stop, I guess, was supposed to get her AC repaired. And unfortunately, the company refused to pay her $75 that she owed for the three days of being there. Now, see me, here's my thing. I don't understand why companies like this, Warner, Mega Carriers, Prime, Swift, I don't understand why they don't reimburse their drivers for parking. I mean, if I'm driving your truck, representing your company in a parking spot that I can, that can, that I can only get by paying for, you should reimburse me. But she said in the clip, as she said, that the company don't reimburse her. And she says that she would normally pay out of pocket. Update on the $75 situation. They ended up paying. They sent me the money via EFS check. So I went in, made the check out to myself, cashed the check. And I ended up paying the $75 that way um, with Warner's money. But I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. I mean, if you're paying out of your own pocket to park your truck, then the company should more than likely reimburse you. But she also said that her settlement is $700. Is that before or after? <laughs> Is that before or after taxes? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. My, my check was $700 last week. What the f That is crazy. That is crazy. But of course, being that she's a new driver, she's gonna have to start at the bottom and then work her way up to the top. See, a lot of these TikTok influencers will come on here and tell you, oh, there's big money to be made when you get in the truck. And no, as 
in what this next clip that this young lady explains. Okay, so as you guys seen in the video, a girl was talking about her pay, right? FYI, when you first get into trucking, you do not make money. Let's just keep this all the way 100. When on your first like year in trucking at least, you do not make money. Like it the shit ain't no lie like you may luck up and get with a good company that will, you know, ride you under the radar or whatever. But for real, for real, like, you don't make no money. Not not with no mega carriers. Because most of the time, that's the only ones who want to take you when you don't have no experience. And more than likely, old girl ain't got no experience, right? So, as you can see, like, right here. What is that? Uh, August, well, July through, like, August 19th, right? So, if you look... At the dates or whatever you, you see um that's like right when i first started with them so that was orientation pay orientation pay was straight that's how they get you though so orientation pay was straight cool 725 just to sit here and drive with a trainer da, 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 da. cool bet but if you look right here when i started driving by myself that's when my checks started to go the fuck down now this right here was my fault this little 139 right here because i took me a week off after their training you feel me that right there was my fault this right here was the week they fucked my check up and they didn't put all my loads on there and refused to give me a paper check so yeah i only had one load on there 373 dollars the other four or five was missing this right here is two checks together okay straight week but this right was two checks together. So if you take off a good three, maybe four hundred dollars or half that, that's right. That's what my check would have been for like a single week. So it was like what eleven ninety seven, almost four hundred dollars. So that means my check was probably like six hundred dollars, right? This is OTR. Yes, OTR don't make money like y'all think. You think going over the road, staying out longer, you gonna actually make money? That's a lie. Okay, that's another lie. Trucking and told you. No, most of the time you can stay home locally and make more money than you can going over the road these days i don't know about back then but these days this right here was another regular check pissed off about that and this right here was the week that i was broke down he was being nice because i think they kind of know that like i'm on the verge of quitting so they was being nice this right here was breakdown pay for the whole week eight days that i was broke down recently and then this right here was tuition reimbursement added which is why it was so much even though it still was orientation but y'all get the point otr don't make no money they don't now in this clip right here she shows her settlements and she's on point with what she are with what she is saying and this is what the other so-called influencers is not telling you this is the settlement you're not going to make that much money in the beginning phases of trucking unless you may have your own truck unless you already got the experience unless you already know unless you have your own authority now that's all the unless parts right there but let's be for real Okay, this is it. This is how much you're going to be getting. Well, not how much you're going to be getting because your experience don't go with her experience. You might get paid more. You might get paid super less. But in the beginning phases, after training, and maybe a couple of, you know, uh, a couple of months down the line, you're not going to be making as much as you other influencers will have you to think all right let me know in the comments below is this your situation what was your situation like when you started trucking did you automatically jump on the elusive six figures somebody had taught you into coming into trucking somebody had told you that you can make this amount of money in trucking and that's why you're doing it what 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 and i mean how much you was bringing in when you started trucking